Hello, Belinda Joe here. I wanted to share my new hobby that I've gotten since I retired. I've always liked items from the past, vintage items, because they bring back wonderful memories. So my new hobby is bidding on online personal property auctions. My three favorite auction companies are Pink Flamingo, Comus Montgomery, and Bob Parks Personal Property Auctions, and of course eBay, the world's largest yard sale. The unboxing I'm going to do today comes from a sale from Comus Montgomery. The contents of these two boxes, I paid a total of $5.50. I was actually bidding on the Corelware, but I got some other interesting items that I'll unbox. So for $5.50, I got this cute little Corel vintage coffee pot. Other, since I'm filming this, I'll have to do in two parts. I got a Corel Dutch oven with the top. This is a piece that I did not have. I'm very excited about adding it to the collection of Corel that I got from my mother and my grandmother. This piece is glass. I don't know what I'll use it for or if I might donate it or sell it, but it looks like it could be used for maybe dog treats or K-cups or something of that nature. I'm through with this box. And I don't know if this is a precursor of the future. Maybe this is the future me. But this is cute. It's just a little old lady figurine with, looks like she's holding a double crust apple pie. And I kind of hoped that it, you could put a candle under it and it would be one of those little things, but no, there's no holes for the light to come out, but it's kind of cute. It says it's hand painted. I'm wondering if that's what I'll look like in a few years. We'll put our apple pie baker here. The next thing is just this, this clear frosted plate. And that looks like it would be something good to put a candle and maybe some little miniature ornaments on for a Christmas decoration. And I always love this, a gondola boat that's early American press cut pattern, Star David. Never can get enough of these. I've seen these used for slaw and potato salad and different things on a buffet and I think that's very cute. Next, I don't know how I've lived without one of these, the Michael Andrew tomato and mozzarella slicer. I've actually been old school about slicing my mozzarella, but now I don't have to be anymore. And a copper colored ice bucket for those romantic occasions when we break out the bubbly here at the farm. And for those folks that like to go to the melting pot, why well, pay that big price whenever you can have your own fondue set right at home. So that was part of my bargain box. I know I don't have that put together correctly, but we'll just have to deal with it for right now. 
And my sister has the little arm you turn, but I like this antique vintage sifter because you just squeeze the sides. It's kind of fun. And here's an amber colored candle holder. That would be pretty for fall. A rose dish. It's very pretty. It doesn't have any markings, but it's pretty. Reminds me of my Aunt Cat. She grew roses for years. Apologize for all the clacking. I'm just unboxing this stuff. Um, <clears throat> little serve individual serving trays for nuts. Formosa wood. Dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe is very important in this house. I don't like to hand wash. And two triangular ashtrays, I believe they are. Or two triangular pieces of art glass, whatever you might want to call them. And just a little, looks like it had a candle in it at one time, just a little glass. And a vintage Oster blender. And of course, with all farmers and cheesemakers, here is a food thermometer, which is pretty cool. One last item that I've already taken out because I liked it so much. Is this yellow piece that I've put on top of my record player. I think that's kind of awesome. But for the price of $5.50, I think I made a pretty good haul. What do you think?